Hey, where's the buoy at? Right You're right behind the boat. What's going on, guys? What's going on, folks? Um, we are getting ready to pull out, or actually air up, the uh, 1992 Thunderbird. It's underneath us right now. We're gonna get over. We were getting the airlines ready, and we're gonna start filling her up. I'm gonna hand you to Lindsay, and uh, yeah, we'll have this vehicle pulled out in no time. Now, it has been in there for 20 years. It's solid. What's up, little turtle boy? What's going on, Tanner? Um, it has been in there for 20 years. It seems like it's solid, but we this may this may end up being. I can't even see the. This may, thank you, thank you. This may even be, we may pop tires, we may do something, but it's coming out. We have uh, 10,500 pounds of lift capacity, thanks to uh, Adventures with Purpose. So, let's do it. Here you go, Lindsay, this is Lindsay, this is my. <coughs> oh, flippy. Oh. Is there a drink? <coughs> Thank you. My assistant, Lizzie. <coughs> oh. What the heck is going on? You got all that yicky water in there. Uh, probably from yesterday. Uh, Liz, that's what we are doing right now. They're going to go air up the I bags. Eric, you got those... Uh... Take the cylinder right. and water with us. Do what? Take the Hi, Michelle. I'm going to take the cylinder with me. Whee. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to leave it right here. This is a good spot. No, thanks, Kirsty. Hi, Terry. So, they uh, lines are all hooked up. Uh, the buoy is, oop, right there. Uh, lines are hooked up. They did that already. The air hoses are, are attached. Um, they did are... that all in about 30 minutes. Hey, get that off there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, Thanks, Curtis. Right. Is that good? All right. Huh? Am I on top of the back? No, there are buoys over there. What the hell did I hit with my feet? My feet. Oh, yours? <laughs> All right, guys. They're playing finsies underneath there. So let's move this over this way so I can <clears> actually <throat> see it, the stuff happening. All right. What I want you guys to do and I say one, two, three, go. Y'all put heart emojis on. One, two, three, go. We're filling it up now. Ooh, I got a leak right there. We should have a Thunderbird coming up. Um, so we came here originally for a missing person case. Um, we were unable to locate that vehicle, but we did find another one. Uh, so this is a stolen vehicle um, that uh, working with law enforcement, they have asked us to to remove from this strip pit. So it originally was a missing person case, but ends up being that this vehicle is a stolen vehicle. Which um, is absolute, they have been absolutely amazing. Yeah. The cops here, the fire department, they filled their area up. Everybody's been so fantastic. Hey, Eric, they were all about it. Buddy. They thought this was the coolest thing. Hi, Ellsworth. Um, you guys can start to see the bubbles. So those are our bags coming up. As they are being filled. We are in Ohio today. I don't know if it's going to come up or not. There's a lot of silt. We may have to reevaluate and go down there. There is a lot of silt on that one side, so... Did you say Turtle Boy is watching? Shoot. All right. 
There's one bag. And there's one bag. All right, the car's up, guys. Hey, we did something good, Eric. It I've actually been, worked. You guys are on a roll. We'll fill this other air, air bag. Should be filling now. I hope. How many do you have on there right now? Two. Okay. The two 3,000 pound, correct? Yes. Okay. So we are just waiting on that second bag to come up. All right, I'm probably going to have to get another Thank you, John. cylinder. All right, you guys, the camera might be a little, a little bumpy here for a second. I'm going to help Ow, switch cylinders. Freezing. I bet it probably is. Uh, Curtis, I believe it is roughly 15 feet deep. Where the vehicle? 15 feet? Where the 15, vehicle? 15 or 20 feet deep. Hey, That's Ringo. Right Where's Eric at? Eric's over there. You just, you're just chilling? Yeah. Thanks, Deb. Well, it's fixing to come up. You see all that, that movement? Yeah. Looks like it's uh, fixing to work. Um, oh, excuse me. What I need you to do, Eric, is get that other bottle out of, on that corner and bring it over, like just pull it up over to me. We are in an Adventure with Purpose boat. You guys can get them at adventurepurpose.com. Right. You want to have that? You need me on that side? Nope. You can if you want. You want to do it this one? Right. Yeah, you do this one. Come here. I'm going to show you how to do Sorry, this. Sorry, guys. Quick. Trying huh? to hold the phone. All right, you guys are going to hear a, lot, a little bit of air. I have a valve that's messed up on this one. It likes to leak, so I got to fix it, but... <clears throat> Throttle right, watch, so we were there this, yesterday. You're, you're prone to freezing, so um, just just a little bit. Turn it on a little bit, and then when you hear that hissing, wait a second, and then turn it on just a little bit more. Ringo, you know there's always chaos. Until we see, <laughs> uh, we see the other airbag come up. And thank you for all your help over the last few days, Ringo. Ringo, thank you so much for your help on pulling out the uh, the, uh, the Beretta. Beretta, thank you. <laughs> I've been doing so much lately that everything's going in at once. Yeah, Jacob has been going a million miles a minute in 18 different directions. Like he's he's doing really, really amazing, incredible things. All right, you guys got here. Comes your second bag coming up. <laughs> You guys can kind of see it right there. Sorry. Uh, he has on his uh, wetsuit. I think they're both wearing Henderson. Boy, that stinks. Yeah, it is. All right, start feeling a little more. Give it a little gum. Hi, Lacey. No, John, he's okay. It's just the uh, water's a little icky here. <laughs> Ooh -wee, smell that gas. So they said at the fire department, Jacob, that like this was clay pits in the back, coal pits in the front, and then this was a dump. This was a dump? Mm-hmm. Who would enough. dump a Who would dump a 1992? Oh, well, it wasn't. I mean, it. They. They made it. They filled it in several years ago. Right, hold off on yours. To shut it off. Here's a. I'm just gonna glance at it, see if everything's good. Then we'll tie the rope. I'll tie the rope to the car, but I have a long enough length of rope that if it comes off these bags, it's not gonna pull the boat in. But we're still not gonna tie it to the boat. 
I'm gonna see if I can actually hand drive it. If I can, awesome. If not, then I'll tie it to the back. So I'm just gonna look at it and see if everything's okay. I'm just gonna hang out and say hi, turtle boy, and Ringo, and. Hey Liz, when I think when they started their first live, we uh, we weren't even sure yet if we were going to be able to be pulling this. Um, it was going to be up to local law enforcement. Um, if they wanted to do it, then we were more than more than happy. Um, but they they asked us to do it, and we obviously obviously love doing it. So Ellsworth, the next time I am in town, we are definitely going to eat with you guys again. Hey, Garrett. Uh, G's on here. You want to say hi right quick? What's up, G? <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you the pictures. Um, it the... is 447 here right now. We are in the Eastern time zone here. Uh, Leslie, so we are guessing that the car, I believe, um, 18 to 20 years, I believe that the officer said that it was approximately 2002, 2003 that it went down, so, or that it was stolen and, and put here. Uh, Dave Mack, they are, law enforcement has a couple of companies that they contract with, so they were going to be calling them once we got the vehicles up and floating, or the vehicle, excuse me, the vehicle up and floating. Uh, the tow truck company is about 15 to 20 minutes uh, from here, so they've got them prepared and ready to go. Um, it's kind of an awkward place where we're at. There's <clears throat> uh, softball and baseball fields right here, so... Um, there was a matter of you know trying to figure out how they were going to get the tow truck back here but i think they've got that all figured out oh liz absolutely if we can we always we 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 like to bring you guys on this adventure with us so it's always awesome to to be able to do this i am not sure what they are going to be bringing i don't know if it's going to be a rotator or you know one of the bigger boom trucks or um i'm assuming probably not a rollback just because of the weight because of the silt that's on it Hey, can you push me this way so I'm not looking into the sun in this? Hey, guys, I'm going to have Eric kind of spin me around a little bit here. Well, we're not sure. At first, they're, the it's all blocked off um, from the parking lot to get back here. So they were just trying to figure out how we were gonna get the wrecker back there, but they, they were able to find some some posts that they could fit. I am not getting diver training. <laughs> um, we are in neither Rochelle. We were actually there yesterday. We left uh, East Liverpool area uh, late last night and got down here this morning, so. Ah, oh, thanks, Kirsty. That's really nice of you. That's super, super sweet, and always, always appreciated. No idea. Uh, yeah. So, um, you guys probably can see it. Uh, Jacob just came out of the water, but yes, what you see is going to be all of the oils and the greases is there an and things like that. There? So, I'm. I can't actually see. But what I do see inside there and feel, I don't, they, it may uh, possibly we're meeting up have this the seatbelt on. So, 
I don't know. The reason why I say that is because I ran my hand across it and I, it, I can't get the orientation because I can't see down there. Right. But it feels like to me I'm talking on both sides and it's locked. So let me have the rope. I can't tell the orientation, but it seems like to me that seatbelt's seatbelt on. We are in Ohio today. There's a lot of muck in there. I, I may be wrong, but. I, I don't need all of it. I, I have so not. Tangled, I'm trying to get it so I can get it. I have, I have no injuries so far. Um, the only one who, the only ones who have gotten injured are are Eric and Jacob, but not me. Uh, Jean Marc, this is that that was yesterday in um, in East Liverpool. I don't want to get too close. This is a stolen about, vehicle. About twenty feet, maybe thirty. Because I want enough slack to where if this breaks loose off the bag, it's hanging. I mean, it's good it, and it's solid. The vehicle is solid. It's hardly even damaged from what I can see or feel. All right, so there should be a clevis in there right in the front. You see in a the, clip? In this way? I don't know. Uh, it should be right underneath that seat where the magnet is. You see that clip? Uh, yeah, just like a regular plain one. Just a regular clipping. Okay, just not one of our. I need to hold it. No, he's, he's getting it. Sorry, guys. Oh, watch that battery charger. So I'm gonna go attach this to the car. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I got this in. I think I stole this off Jared. Thanks, Jared. Love you, buddy. You guys haven't checked out AWP. And hey, sis. Doug Bishop. They're all doing good things out there. I'm going to try to hook this to something. I don't know. But the windows are up in the front. Thanks, Eric. That tasted like gas. We won't tell them, but I kind of enjoy, you know, hanging out with these two. They're they're pretty amazing. Shh, just don't tell them that. Hi, Matthew. All right, so Jacob is going down, and he is connecting a rope right now to the vehicle. The vehicle is floating. Um, it did exactly what they wanted it to do. So that's fantastic. And then we are going to, Eric, are we going to pull it yes. with this rope? Okay. So we're going to pull this, um, with, with the rope that we've attached to it, uh, to the shore. Thanks, John. Oh, Kirstie, that's really sweet of you, but I, I, uh, uh, they are definitely, you know, the credit definitely goes to, to Jacob and, and Eric. I just, I don't do very much. Hi, Mary. The water, so this, there's a lot of sulfur in the bottom of this strip pit, so originally it did not smell good. Right now, um, you're smelling a lot of the gas and the the greases, the fluids, things like that, so. Thanks, Diane. Um, anybody on here who is new can you, can you, uh, to the channel, thank you so much for, for subscribing. I, I know it means the world to Jacob. It really is appreciated. You guys have no idea how 
how much gratitude he has for all of you guys and your support and everything you do for him. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, I've never, um, I've never had somebody appreciate, you know, people so much. So, um, he's, he does a fantastic job. He's, he's here for, for all the right reasons and he appreciates everything you guys do. Well, Ellsworth right now, I'm the only one, so. <laughs> Ringo, you are exactly right. Um, Eric got that first taste of diving and he, he fiends for it. He loves it so much. Like, I'm super glad that he, that he chose to do this and made the decision and that he, you know, he dives with Jacob, especially, um, you know, safety purposes alone, but Eric absolutely loves it. Thank you guys. Um, so Jacob is still down attaching that rope. <laughs> Thank you. Again, we are, um, once we get that rope attached, the bags are floating. Uh, Jacob said that the car is clear of the ground. It is floating like it's supposed to. <laughs> Thank you again, John. That's so, so sweet of you. Uh, the vehicle is floating. Everything is is the way it is supposed to be right now. He is attaching that rope and then that's what we're gonna use. Uh, he absolutely is, here we go, uh, to pull it to shore and then that's what we'll connect with um, uh, to, to the tow truck. Again, I'm not sure what kind of tow truck they're going to bring. Uh, there's a few different access points as far as being right on the water. Uh, there's one down, it's a little bit, um, it's not as steep, might be able to pull it up there uh, fairly easy. Thank you, Jennifer, so much for that donation. It it really is super awesome of you guys. Um, all of the money that, that gets donated, it really does come right back uh, to what he's doing. It puts fuel in the vehicle, puts fuel in the boat, um, any equipment, anything like that, that we've needed uh, repaired or taken care of, he, he does all of that, so. Hey, are we good to go ahead and get the tow truck rolling this way? Yeah. Uh, okay. Shelly, there is a PayPal um, it's actually under Chaos Paddlers. Um, I'm not sure if there's an if there's a mod. Um, I can add it in just a moment. If you give me a second, I can I can put the link in there unless somebody else was able to to get it. So the rope is all attached. Jacob is back up out of the water. He's he's okay. I don't know how this is gonna um, work out. SJ's, let me get that for you really quick. Give me just a moment, the, guys. Uh, we're gonna leave the bags attached. Or the uh, airlines attached. We should have enough rope to pull this to the shore. So if you'll, uh, is there anything that I'm gonna ruin if I throw this hood over here? Mm, no, it's just the, there's the light and a couple Gatorades and your gloves. So if you ruin anything, it's your own stuff. Mm. <laughs> I want to say thank you guys for all your support. You guys mean a lot to me. If it wasn't for you guys, I could not and would not be able to do this. I figured hey, if I could figure out how to be a scuba diver, I'd be all right. Couldn't get out of my dad gum BCD. All right, guys. Um, for those of you that were asking, I just put that PayPal link in for you. Um, well, go. Just so you guys had it. Hey. Guys, he's been pulling this car over by himself. If you need to, you need to go that way if you're going to do that. <coughs> that gum muscle man, you're going to wear yourself out. That is sharp. Somebody's got to do the work around here. Oh, listen to <laughs> you. Just, hey, I, I'll, hey, listen, I'll, I'll get it. Let me put this in here. Oh, you're gonna, we're running into the car, sir. Huh? So we're gonna run into the car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, quit pulling. That gum. I will when you're in the boat. Well, you're pulling, you're pushing me right into the, the car. All 
right. You you know the you know the drill, don't you? Let me get away from the quit pulling, please. I stopped. I'm sitting still. I'm getting the lines and everything tied around a motor. What is that? What is that orange line? Oh, okay. I've been told that I have one of those. <laughs> All right, so you know what to do, right? You know the drill. Absolutely right. Chaos, I swear. Hi, guys. Hey. You did a good job. I just wanted to prove I could pull the car. Yeah. Yeah, you pulled it halfway. You got him? Got him. Thanks. Is the rope connected to the front of the car? The rope's not connected to anything but me. Navy vet, thank you so much. Uh, he made a $10 donation and said, tell Jacob hello from Illinois and still do aviation, not water. Hi, right, buddy. Let me see that rope. You wanna hold on to the front of the boat? Yeah. Or the side of the boat? I got the rope right Hey, can you, uh, can you make sure that those, you see those reels? If we can actually take them and put them in the car. Uh, John, we'll actually dip here. them when we get back. All right, here we go. Now y'all wondering why I do it this way and Jared does it the other way. They're both the correct way. This I feel is a little safer for what we're doing. This is why I do it. I think it's easier. We can't see nothing down there. I don't want to get pelted by a car. You holding on? You got it? Hey, gear would be good. Drive! So the uh -oh. cart is here behind on. us. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can be here hosting out of the front. Wow, well, we're here. Okay. Alright. You guys are kind of a mess. Don't get your fins underneath that. Yes, Terry, I did. Um, so again, you guys, here is, whoop, there is the car. Uh, we are using the boat to kind of pull it down. Uh, he is Curtis. He, Eric's up front hanging on. You have brought this aground. We're going to have to go that way. Now it is. It wasn't. That's like shallow right there I guess. So Eric had swam with the car from way over there to over here. Um, Whoa. Nope, I got it. Just because the camera's rolling, sir. I think we're aground. I think we go that way with it. Maybe we can get it to free up off there. Throw that thing straight to the ground. I told you to get out of here. I was coming this way, you told me to stop moving. Why are we leaning over so much, sir? Huh? Oh, because you're pulling a car out. I'll try to pull it. There we go, now it's moving. Alright, now how are we going to do this? Watch this little trick. Oh, my, uh, Oh my bang and watch this. <laughs> oh. All right, Eric, you're gonna have to let go. Oh goodness. Reason why? Because you're pulling a boat that way when I'm trying to turn this way. Sorry, guys. The car is? Yeah. Okay. The car's not moving. Okay. That's it. It's moving. Huh? It's coming. Yeah, it's turning. Oh, is it turning? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're probably going to have to put another bag <clears throat> on the bottom side. 
John Mark, yes. So. There we go. Now we're moving it. it so what we'll it do good. is we'll get the other 1,500 pound lift bag. Do you want to go? Put it onto the other and kind of lift it up. I'm just trying to get it off the ground over here to see if we can get it to start moving out further. Uh, Dave Mack, there is a few spots down here. I think that they have picked one out, so uh, uh, they have picked one out. Um, Eric is still in the water right over there. Okay. Um, we just went at 360. All right, so guys, what we're going to do is we're going to put another lift bag on it. Ow! Cramp. Uh, Rochelle, I do apologize. Could you... Huh? Post it one more time. I missed it. Hey, if I had, if I had the capabilities of putting Dad's boat in here, it'd have done been out. <laughs> well, if he falls in today, it's okay. I have his phone. <laughs> huh? Somebody said, "Don't fall in." What? So the vehicle is uh, below us. Oh shit! It is down there, isn't it? It is. It's right above us. It's right, right above us. <laughs> so the problem we're having right now. Wait a minute. You know what? You a big dummy head. As that one loses air, it's going back down. No. So this one gets filled faster than this one. Mm -hmm. and it's letting all the air out on that one. So I need to disconnect the line, but as soon as I do that, I have issues with the... Uh... Again, just thank you for everybody um, who's here watching today. Um, anybody who's new to the channel, thank you so much. I swear I have you no guys idea are, what I'm doing. You guys are amazing. Um, your support, everything that you do, your kind words, um, sharing, liking, subscribing, like you have no idea how much those things are appreciated. Jacob, you have to put up with me all day. <laughs> you have 431 people watching. You want to say hi? <laughs> oh, have 400 people looking, making me look, or seeing me look like an idiot. Oh, do we have a strap on it? No, I don't know. Uh, these bags do not, these are the parachute bags, so they don't have yeah, so that. We'll need the, uh, oh, we can't lift it. Push it. We'll need... Sorry. Right, Ringo? Way to go. We'll <laughs> we should not be right over top of this. That is a no no. So get me away from it. Uh, we need to get a strap. Kelly, once I figure out. Um, his link, I'll, I'll find it and post it. Thank you, buddy. All right, so, you know what? Once you stay there, I'll go get the strap because you're already geared up and I'm just sitting here. Um, let me get the strap and hook up. Uh, Michael, if you want to message on um, chaoscybers.com, there is a direct link. It says uh, down at the bottom, it says chat now. That's a direct link to me. And then I can get uh, with you and get information. Got an idea. Jacob is sometimes not as dumb as he looks. You know what? Watch this, watch this stuff. So again, it's open -ended, um, right? we were here. Um, okay, so if it's open-ended, then on the search. Take this cylinder. Okay, that's a pillow. We were we were here on a search for uh, Tom Wong. That better not be a pillow. What well, we just grabbed is a pillow. Um, we were here on the search for Tom Wong. Oh, Tom went missing screen. about 50 yeah. years ago. They're both pillows. Um, we were unable to locate his vehicle, but did find another 
uh, vehicle in here. Okay. It is, um, it's a stolen vehicle. It's a 1992 Firebird. It's been in here since about 2002, 2003. So about 19, 18 to 20 years somewhere is where they're guessing. We should be able to, if we can get that bag up, it's just as much as that Michael, bag. Um, go ahead and get a hold of me on there. That would probably be the best way. Um, and right, then so I can get with you on all of the information. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to move first. What we're going to do, hey, where's that rope at? This is a 90, uh, 1992 Thunderbird. What we're going to do here is we're going to get that bag up more because that bag's at full throttle and we have these airlines attached to it. Yeah. I have a bad valve, so if I disconnect one of these, that other one will start... So he's going to go underneath there, manually feel it. Yes, Tom we'll Long has been missing for uh, just over 50 years. Um, he um, he went missing in his almost brand new Catalina. So one heck of a car. <laughs> How much air did he have in that thing? So what he's going to do is he's going to go underneath there. He's going to apply more air to it. Hopefully it'll bring it up a lot more so we can get it pulled. If not, we're going to have to run a cable somewhere and get it pulled a different way. But if he can get that car up a little bit more and that back end, we'll be fine. When it was over there, it was clear of the ground though, correct? Yeah. Is that what you said? Okay. You should hear him here in a second. Is it not down there yet? Uh, Curtis, he, um, I believe it was 69 that he, the family said he went missing. So um, it was, uh, you know, a little over 50 years ago. The one good thing is, is back then, like they made cars to last. So it's obviously not going to be in the best condition, but it'll, uh, it should still be there. Amanda, we have no idea. The visibility here is absolutely zero. It's white. Was it white? It oh, white. Jacob said that he was able to now. see that it was white. It's a white Thunderbird. I see the uh, the rims on it have the Thunderbird on. It's pretty neat. What is he doing? There we go. Now You've heard, yes. Here. I did see uh, Michael. Um, if you can get a hold of me on chaosdivers.com. Um, there's a chat now is a direct link to me. Um, and then I can get with you to get everything uh, all squared away. And yes, I think somebody asked. I do have my life vest on. I, I bought a pretty one just for me. <laughs> Eric is up. Nothing came up. Is that bottle empty? I wanted to make sure it was open that sucker up and then when it's when it when you can hear it start then slowly let it out but nothing was coming up it was just like barely even doing anything I want okay. you to open it up I guess I could get back in there but from this thing. Don't get the rope tied up. Good thing, Good thing. So again, um, the bags are floating. Eric is underneath uh, or in the water right now underneath that bag uh, and he is manually filling straight from the tank right now there we go now we're getting up there there we go hey kevin what i'm talking about what's up kevin there's kevin, no mock experience yes it is hi buddy <laughs> That all the air. I don't want them empty, but if it is, we need to get another. Again, everybody who on here, um, 
who's been with Jacob from the beginning, people who are just finding, um, you know, coming to his channel today, thank you so much. It, it really does mean the world to him. He, he's, I've never met somebody so appreciative for, uh, um, for, for their subscribers and their members. And it's ridiculous how much he appreciates you. Like it, it's amazing. So thank you to everybody, everybody here. Uh, Kevin, I am not sure yet. Uh, I will have Jacob give you a call as soon as this is over. Uh, Kevin wants to know what we're doing tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, I don't know. Probably still pulling a uh, Thunderbird. We can't get this thing uh, moving. I don't, I, don't, I don't really know. So I told him once, once this was, live stream was over that I'd have him give you a call. Oh, Kevin, that's right. Yes, I, I've been waiting for that. I'm super excited for it. I definitely, definitely want to join in on that. Okay, so again, we are trying to pull the vehicle closer to shore. Hey, it's moving. Good job. Uh, so Jacob is originally from, uh, he, well, he's from Southern Illinois. Uh, that's where uh, we're based out of. And then we are actually in Ohio today. Uh, we've been in Ohio for the last few days, uh, just in some different locations. Eric, you did good. Get uh, get another cylinder if you would, sir. Cause uh, that bag still got a lot to air up. So Come it on. is moving. Yeah, I'm loving all of the, the haunted history and all of that stuff of Kevin. Uh, we are not in Little Miami. I'm not really sure how far we are from Little Miami. Little Miami is pretty far away. I would say, I thought We're so. In Wilson, Ohio. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. That is actually, I think we may get a little closer. So we are slowly but surely working the vehicle over. Eric actually went over to shore to get another uh, tank. That back bag, uh, that back one that there still has a lot of air that can be put into it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> let's, see, let's see if we can do it in reverse. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Two and a half hours from Miami. <laughs> uh, Rousey, it is chaosdivers.com. Um, when you open it up, there is a chat now. Um, that is a direct link if you have any get questions, it, buddy, if you need anything. Um, but then that everything, we got no it. everything is on there get as it. well. Um, all, of, all of the merchandise. Um, as hoodie season is coming in, right, we are going in. Switch the view. No. Oh, so they can see you. Oh, they don't need to see me. Just switching over. Ah. See you, <laughs> not me. Okay, so we are uh, still pulling the bags. Uh, I'm not even really sure at this point what Jacob is doing, other than holding on for dear life and driving in reverse. So I think we have found something that he does well at multitasking. Ah, I think we ran aground. I think we are ground. Eric is coming up from behind right now. Um, he's swinging up. He's got an additional tank. Don't say it, Kevin. Don't say it. That's what you said. <laughs> Don't say it, Kevin. Do it. Um, hey, everyone. <laughs> Oh, he did say it. <laughs> uh, 
Sylvie, we have an idea of how deep it is. It's just a matter of the fact that the vehicle uh, was floating and the back bag Five actually air. didn't uh, inflate all the way. So what has happened is that when it didn't, or when well, it didn't see, inflate, what was, you see what had happened was <laughs> um, that back bag still has tons of tons of room that it could be filled up. So what it's doing is that the, the back end of the car is actually, you know, is bringing the whole thing down. There's there was a ton of silt in it, things like that. So that's where we got to go. Uh, yeah. So let me flip this around. Oh, I can't see. oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Um, see where that guy's standing? I don't know if you can see over in here. There is a gentleman sitting on the bank. That is actually where we are bringing uh, the car to. Um, again, everybody who's new, who's been here, who's one of the OGs, thank you so much for everything. Um, thank you for all the members. Yeah, the Especially members. Especially for what we're doing right now. The money has been used for this trip, and I'm going to tell you right now, feeding her snacks is. <laughs> I do have a snack addiction. <laughs> no, I mean, but seriously, guys, thank you. Yeah, I will say everything that's been donated um, has gone to this trip. Um, there's been nothing. I mean, it's gone to fuel, uh, food. You know, it has gone to my you know snacks. Maybe that is to hold on to while a six horse is trying to pull backwards. Um, Eric is, you guys might be able to hear him. Um, Back behind that bag again um, uh, trying to put air straight into the bag manually instead of through the air hoses that you guys see running through the water here um, I do love my sweets but I actually eat a ton of cheeses um, there's not a lot of food that I can eat so um, I, I oh, stick geez. to the few things Are I can have snacks? yeah uh, Terry, I think I have one bag left. <laughs> Kim Britton, thank you so yeah, very much for that donation. Bag. That's that's amazing. See that bag, yeah, I was doing that earlier. All right, cool. Have a good day, Curtis. Hey, Curtis, I'll see you later. Thank you so much. For Bye, that. Kevin. I hope that um, somebody doesn't work me too hard and, and I can watch your, your premiere work tonight. You too hard. You were holding a daggum camera. Yeah, but I get yelled at sometimes. You want to hold this rope while I pull? Sure. You want to trade? Are we good? <laughs> All right. Here we go again. <laughs> All right, Jacob. Don't let me down here. Well, I got to go out to this. Right? Uh, you know what was easier, though? Going in reverse. Some reason I'm not getting pulled over that way. Um, I'm showing 500 people in here. That is amazing. You guys are so fantastic. Thank you, Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for watching and and joining this adventure with us. Uh, this is something that he's to see me flip over. Though. Absolutely. Uh, then we're gonna this go is something that that's totally. Um, this is on his heart to do. So, Amanda, thank you for that 1999 donation. Um, Sorry. I'm just gonna hold this and, and expect. Um, yeah, I don't want to be around you whenever I do this. So. Yeah. Oh, Lynn, I have 502 on my side. Uh, thank you for putting in Kevin's okay. link. Um, so, uh, Eric is away from the, the bags in the car and everything. He's good. And then... Is the car moving? Uh... Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I have that many man muscles. <laughs> uh, thank you. Bring that rope over your head. Thank you for that $10 donation. Did I get it all the way? That's cool. Yep. It had that taste. Uh, Charlie, that's what we're working on. Um, it's just, it's attached, so we're trying to get everything over there. The moving? Um, it was kind of out in the middle. Yeah. Um, so we had to do... Um, you know, some, some chaotic things to, I just want to get it there. A foot placement, and I got a rope attached around my leg. 
<laughs> thank you again. Thank you everybody who's who subscribed, who's who's become um, you know memberships, all of that good stuff. <laughs> Uh, Jacob's already gotten wet. Uh, he and Eric have both been in the water. I'm the one who's not supposed to be getting wet, but here we are. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I'm going to... Uh, close to to We're close enough to connect to a tow truck? Can they come right there? I don't think so. They wanted me to get it out here, didn't they? The tow truck here? So again, we are, uh, the bag's there, there's one in front, one behind, um, working on getting them out, uh, Jacob is still holding on to the rope, trying to pull them out, Eric is clear of the vehicle, um, uh, Dave Mack, we're not too far, we're just not sure what the, what the tow truck is coming with, what kind of options they have as far as you know the length of their cables things like that um, Kim we don't as of right now um, which link are you needing uh, Melinda because there's the PayPal and uh, like donations or are you wanting like the um, are you wanting like the, the Facebook or the membership uh, just let me know which one you need and I can throw it up there for you all right Thanks. Uh, see, I do have a light vest on. I, I bought, my, have, I bought uh, myself a pretty one. Okay, Jacob has. Let me turn this around we here. We have a problem here. So, uh, looks like I'm going to pop the valve off of there. So, it'll keep the air in there. Pop the valve off the air lines so the air lines will shut. And then we're going to hook this bag up. I just need another rope. Hey, can you ask them if they can get me a, a strap? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those lines up. Well, you big dummy. The lines are up here. Why am I getting my fins on? I wasn't gonna get in the water, but why? All right. Um... We need to put another bag on it. I'm gonna try to lift that other side up. Thought I could do it, but I gotta get that patch. You see that little hole? Look at that hole. Can we use the same, the same stuff for the boat? Or is it different? What? Patch. Oh, I, I don't know, maybe. I'll um, test here, but. So I just put the membership link in here for you guys. If you have an iPhone, you cannot do it from the YouTube app. You actually have to go on to your Safari you to some, or your Google um, and actually do it from there. Um, you can do it on your iPhone. It just has to be from Safari or something like that. It can't just, it can't be from the app for some reason. Uh, Mary, I do not have sunblock on. You what? Mary asked if I had sunblock on. You know, my boss told me never to get over or under these bags. God dang valves. And I may have forgotten to put some block on, so just letting her know. Well, that was stupid. You have anything I can poke with? Poke? Yeah. A um, knife, anything? On you? No. I don't think so. Uh, I have your knife up here. I don't have a, I don't, it's not, it's not a poke little thing. enough. This is stupid. What are we doing here? Why is this coming out? You just. I got air coming out of both ends. You know what? What we're gonna do? Got air coming out of both of them. Why aren't they closing? Why aren't those valves closing? 
Are you getting? Oh, hello. Getting in the water. <laughs> All right, take me in short. I'm holding the hole. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Uh, Rousey, yeah. If you look on the website, uh, there we do no have sense. some of the the squirrel merchandise, uh, scout merchandise. Let me think here. Uh, it's a scary thought, isn't it? Me thinking. Hmm. <laughs> If I was to take that won't take too long. If I was just to go ahead and put that other bag on there. And I need another strap. He's gonna go get it. Hi, Daddy. And then I'll get that. Hey, I'm standing on the car. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the car is floating right underneath Jacob right there. Stuck. Um, it's just, unfortunately with, with the bag not inflating and things like that, it's just, it keeps running aground. Hey, now I fixed it, see? I don't Why think... is this thing moving? Like, it is legit just moving on its own. What the hell? Or maybe that's just the bag just going back and forth. Probably the bag. Let me see. Because if this thing is moving and it broke loose and I'm sitting there doing all this, won't be upset. Uh, so yeah, we, we originally came here on a missing persons case uh, from approximately 50 years ago. Um, we were unable to locate that vehicle. Um, however, we did find another one in this strip pit. Hey, Eric, did you get a strap? Um, the vehicle that we found is stolen. Uh, it is a 1992 Thunderbird. It is about, it's been in here for about 18 to 20 years. Uh, the uh, detective that we had spoken to earlier said he was going to go see if he could find the original case file. So um, we are attempting to uh, pull it out. Attempting. Well. Attempting. We are not attempting. We will succeed. <laughs> it's already out. It's, it's, it's three quarters of the way out. It's already bagged. Everything's good. Now okay. Attempting just, was a terrible word. I apologize. I have to, uh, I have to shorten the length of the car up. So that means I got to go. Blink, which is shorten the length of the down. car yeah I'm gonna, it's gonna be upside down so, so you got this length right here right yeah so it's sitting right like this right i don't know i might be able to go underneath on the other side and see if i could actually flip it up right oh yeah no see if we can do that i don't think you need to go under it at, for any reason oh no that's fun no i think not that's fun eh, maybe not <clears throat> we do need to flip it over I'm okay with that, but I don't think we need to go under it. Uh, give me my bag. So, when I start doing this, the air is going to come out of the other one, right? I don't have a third valve for this little stupid thing I got going on here. This is something that I can hold on to? And then... And cover? Huh? Is there something I can hold and cover, or can I kink that line? Uh, yeah, you could probably kink the line. Hey, do we have that? Do we have that IMSA tape in here? Uh, no, I believe it's in the truck or in the boat. Okay. As soon as we get that strap, is he bringing one? Is that a soft shackle? Um, so again, thank you to everybody uh, uh, watching. Okay. Um, thank you to everybody watching. Um, new originals, thank you so much. Um, you, you guys are amazing. You guys are incredible. All um, kind words, sharing, liking, subscribing, the memberships, the donations. It's totally been just just breathtaking. I mean, you could totally leave the person all struck. So, um, there's the bags. Jacob is back in the water. Uh, Rosie does have one. Uh, Eric is over on the shore grabbing some extra straps and things like that. Um, so, it just didn't, have, well, I didn't, think just, it was need yeah, we didn't, we weren't more than 3,000. 
Or, well, uh, 6,000, right? 6,000, I mean. Yeah. So, um, Eric is over on the shore. He's grabbing some additional supplies. He's been kind of going back and forth um, between the boat and the bags and the shore and things like that. So, I'm just wondering why that other bag isn't up right like the other one is. Isn't that the one that does that every time? Every single time. Is it just a smaller bag? I mean, have we ever really it's actually... Smaller material bag, I guess. And say, have we ever actually unfolded it? Like, side by side? Uh, why would we do that? I don't you know. Just, that would be the one that's hitting me in my foot. That'd I just, be the smart thing to do. I just thought maybe... I don't like things touching me underwater. <laughs> okay? I just don't like it. And it was my reg it's my computer actually hitting my, hitting my foot. Guys, I swear, I have an idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I just I didn't want to do it this way. It's just excellent. Can I get to this to tow line? Can he get it this angle? And does he have enough line? I'll need about 200 feet. So again, um, we've got two of the $3,000 lift bags, or $3,000, 3,000 pound lift bags. Uh, uh, Let me see what I can the do front, with this the bag the if you give me some straps. And then... Uh, I need that... Um, uh, yes. My mask and my fins. Your fins are oh, on. Oh, my yeah. fins are on. Yep. Your my mask and my hood, I mean. Do you want your gloves? Where is he going? I'm gonna go get the strap. Okay. Okay. Do you, you want I, your hood? I'm, I'm gonna go get the strap. Okay, I'll just float here. Just float there. And okay. <laughs> you don't have to add. You know. <laughs> okay, so Jacob is heading to shore. Uh, he's gonna go see if he can grab the additional strap. The tow truck driver just got here, so I believe Eric is on shore working with him, trying to figure out, um, you know, the best way to finish executing this. Um, bags are right here in front of us. The car is floating. Um, and then I'm not sure if you guys, um, so they just left me out here on the boat by myself like they know not to leave me unattended um but here i am literally floating i've got no way i don't i don't know how to work the motor thing uh not really sure uh, i don't even think i can reach the paddles so uh they're buried under the tanks <laughs> so we're just gonna hang out here. I apologize. I know that y'all did not come here to see me and that is totally okay. I'm okay with that. Um, so, but you're gonna, you're gonna hang out with me for a few minutes. Um, again, um, we do have the lift bags on. We came here um, for, for a 50 year old missing person case. Uh, Tom Long, who went missing about 50 years ago, um, just up and disappeared in his 1967, 68 uh, Pontiac Catalina. And then uh, while sonaring, we didn't locate the vehicle that we came here for, uh, but we did find another vehicle. It is um, a 1992 Thunderbird. Uh, it's white in color. Uh, it was stolen. Jacob and Eric were able to dive on it. Uh, Jacob pulled the plates. Uh, law enforcement came out. We talked everything with them. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, um, and then, so that's what... Um, that's kind of how we got to where we are right now. Um, law enforcement has been absolutely amazing. Um, they were like, oh my God, this is so awesome. What you guys do is so cool. So it's always awesome to work with, to work with them when they, you know, when they're interested in what we do and they want our help. Um, so that's always fantastic. The fire department filled all of our uh, air cylinders and stuff for us. So thank you to them. Um, I do believe that uh, Barb, as soon as they get back, they left me on the boat in the middle of the strip pit stranded. So they, uh, they, uh, uh, yeah, I probably am sunburned. Uh, I'm the, I told you to start the show. I'm, I'm like the palest person ever. So, you know, I, uh, star of the show. I am not the star of the show. I am just 
entertaining them with my horrible song and dance while you leave me I hear unattended <laughs> so uh, Jacob is on his way back um, uh, he went to go get the the straps and the the clevises so that way we can put on this additional bag uh, sorry this vehicle was listed stolen uh, about yeah. 18 to 20 years ago. Yeah, he, sent me, so... he sent me a bag with no uh, no strap on it. All There's right. Jacob. Uh, the tow truck driver is here. Yeah, uh, they're, wait they're waiting on me. This is the first time they've been waiting on me. Okay. No, they wait on me quite often. Um, so the tow truck driver is here. Is the bag in? In? Oh, in the water. I thought you wanted it in the boat. <laughs> Make sure the valve is closed. A little uh, valvey, valvey. So Jacob is actually going to go connect another bag, uh, the strap and the clevis and everything. Um, thank you. Uh, All right, guys, we're going to have a Thunderbird out here shortly. So let me get over hey, the seat me. here. I can find the daggum hook. Where are you at? Yeah. Um, so again, uh, yeah. thank you to everybody new and old. Um, Eric is floating this way slowly but surely. I know somebody should have brought me some Cheez Its. I feel like they could have thrown them from shore, floated them out here. Wouldn't have been that bad. Okay. Okay. So Jacob is getting ready to go back down um, and attach um, attach that additional bag. Um, so again, um, here we have this bag here, this bag in the back let me find it right love you guys, there bye. love you bye uh the bag in the back it for some reason wasn't inflating eric even went down and manually tried to inflate it straight from the tank it just um it wasn't wasn't working um again thank you for everybody um who's who's helped whether it was liking a video sharing a video um just commenting kind words like anything like that like it's you guys are truly amazing it's um i hope you all know that um how much you know jacob appreciates everything that you guys do for him it's 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 crazy he uh he even gets a little emotional sometimes <laughs> how awesome you guys are to him so i kind of quit counting when he says like oh it's gonna be out shortly um, my, my motto is kind of like plan A should always be that you're going to use plan B. Uh, so, um, nothing ever really goes right for me. So I just kind of, I just go with the flow. It is what it is. It all works out at the end. Um, Jacob has been going a thousand miles a minute the last couple of weeks. Uh, this week we have Eric with us. So, so super super happy about that oh cody i won't drop you in the water <laughs> um i am not jacob's sister um one of us probably wouldn't have survived childhood not really sure who and <clears throat> jacob uh oh thanks kirsty i i really i mean i i mean you can ask uh eric my husband I mean I I always feel like I don't I don't do that much and I always feel like I probably don't do enough um, Eric has become a diver to be uh, Jacob's second so um, let me see I'm sorry if I'm missing your guys's comments um, I'm trying to catch some of them just I I'm always nervous when when any of them go go in the water <laughs> it always always makes me nervous so I I try to make sure that I, I at least know where their bubbles are that kind of thing um, so again I know some of you have probably heard this we are in uh, Ohio. We've been in Ohio for the last couple days. We are actually um, at a different location today. We came down here. We got here late last night. I don't think we got into the hotel and actually into bed until about three, four o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> we are uh, down here. We were brought in by uh, the Long family. 
Um, this was actually a case that uh, was passed on to Jacob from, uh, from Jared, from AWP. Um, we were in the area, we we're closer, uh, being in the Midwest, that kind of thing. So we, we were happy to take it on. We uh, came here, we were searching for Tom. Uh, Tom's been missing for about 50 years. Uh, he had, um, you know, he had children, things like that. Um, it's always been rumored to them that he was that he was in this strip pit um, in his almost brand new Pontiac Catalina. So it's a boat of a car. I mean, it's almost 18 feet long. They were pretty cool. Uh, they were a family car, but also could be considered a sports car because those things would get up and go. <laughs> um, so that's why we are here. That's why we are, uh, that's what brought us to this area and to this strip pit uh, specifically, excuse me. Um, in searching for Tom, we were not able to find his vehicle. However, we did find a different vehicle. We found a 1992, um, Thunderbird uh, is white in color. It was stolen in 2002, 2003, I believe they said. Uh, so we are, uh, we, we located it. Uh, Eric and Jacob both dove down on it. The plates were pulled, um, Law enforcement was actually able to locate the original owner through Facebook, which is crazy to me. Um, social media can can be an amazing thing sometimes. Uh, so again, Jacob is down now. Uh, he is hooking up that additional bag. Um, it's a fifteen hundred that he's putting on, correct? Yeah. Uh, so he's putting on. So we have the two three thousand pound lift bags on there. Not we. We didn't do that. Eric and Jacob did that. Um, and then um, he is down putting an additional uh, 1,500 pound. Um, so, I mean, there's always that possibility. But the way that um, Team Waters has helped Jacob set up his sonar, um, I have seen vehicles on his sonar that have been down there for decades um i might only see a mound of dirt but like he can tell you every part of the vehicle um he knows his sonar it's crazy ridiculous um how well he knows it how he can see the things um i mean he was able to, you know, we were, we were somewhere and he was like, oh, there's an SUV flipped over upside down. And it, it really was. Okay. So Jacob is up out of the water. Um, so to answer your question, it, it is possible Francis, but I mean, this group is, is ridiculous. Um, I think someone asked about little rock. I would love to go the out bottle. there. I know we are going whip. to, um, Arkansas at some point in time. I'm just not sure when or exactly where. Um, Eric, um, so Jacob is up out of the water. Uh, Eric is hooking up the cylinder to the whip. Yes, it is. Thank uh, you. Give me just a moment, guys, and let me um, help Eric really quickly. Oh, come on. If you give me a second, I can grab it for you. Just give me one moment. Sorry, guys, if I shake you around or move you. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so we are in Ohio. We've been in Ohio f uh, for the last couple of days, uh, just kind of throughout different places in the state. Um, so again, we, we were brought to this area by the Long family. Um, we were unable to locate him. If I can close that valve, we can lift this other one up. Um, Jacob is working with the valves now on both bags. Um, Eric has the cylinder, um, attached to the whip, um, so they can work on airing up that bag that Jacob just attached. Um, the third bag is a 1,500 pound lift bag. We already have two 3,000 lift pound or 3,000 pound lift bags on here. Um, uh, 
Uh, the tow truck is here. They're ready for us whenever, right? Okay. Hey, I'm really black haired and I don't even have black hair. <laughs> it is dirty down there. It's dirty, dirty. Like literally black hair. Look at it. Okay, you ready? All right. Okay. Go ahead and start it. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to get turned around here. I'm gonna kink this line. Oh, wrong line. Oh, no, that was the right line. Yeah. All right, so they are airing up that third bag. Thank you, uh, mods, whoever were um, able to, to get that person for me. Oh, hold on. I think that bag is underneath the other bag. I don't want it to lift it up. And... All right, so they're going to go adjust the bag, make sure uh, make sure that nothing, that the bag that they just put on the pillow bag is not up underneath that parachute bag. Um, so we want to make sure that it's not going to lift it up out of the water. Okay, you're good. good. All right, so here we go. Gonna turn the air valve back oh, open. Pinch that other line off. Yeah. Let me get to it. I might have to figure out another way on those nozzles. Again, there's almost 600 people in here. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all of your support. Go ahead. It really does mean mean the world to Jacob and and myself and Eric and this allows um, this allows me to come out and and work with Jacob and and help out and um, you guys are you guys are amazing. Um, I've had people donate to my PayPal uh, for these trips. I never thought that would happen. You guys are ridiculous. I I love you all so much. It's you guys are amazing. Thanks, Callie. How are you doing? Thanks, Sally and Z. Thank you guys um, for getting that that spam account out. All right, now it's a bit. Go ahead. No, keep doing it. Hold this. I'm going to get back up in the boat. And when you get ready to shut it off, just go ahead and shut it off. I'm going to get in the boat, and you can let that go. I'm going to try to cool it. <laughs> you want me to tell him? Hey, Eric, I love Curtis. Mm -hmm. I am supposed to tell you. He was going to tell on me, but I figured I'd just tell you myself. <laughs> All right, Jacob is going to get back in the boat. We do have uh, that, that third bag right... Oops. There we go. That third bag right there is filling right now. Uh, Jake is going to be getting back in the boat. Eric is filling the bag. Let's we'll see if we can if we can get it. I missed the boat. Oh, Percy things. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Jacob's right. getting his BC and everything in here, so I'm trying to. To accommodate for that. Do you want me just to hold on to it on the No, side? I want to I wanna get it in the boat. Okay. Bye, Curtis. Is Curtis back? Yeah, he came back, but he had, his, he had to go again. <laughs> yep. Can you hold on to this? All right, guys, hang on. Thank you. I don't think I did too much. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Good night. That thing is heavy. Well, I think it's lifted, guys. Extended it in. Okay. Um, we surprisingly only found one I mean, vehicle. What? Asked me to ask how many vehicles we found in here. We actually only found one. Um, it's pretty. Yeah. Ask us to get it out. And yeah. Look like it. It's and the the officers were amazing. They were like, oh my gosh, this is really cool what you guys do. Um, it was well, it was they the were fantastic. Is, 
It should have already been out. No, it shouldn't have. It's going to come out when it comes out. We're not on a schedule. Yeah, we are. Things happen. Right, it's okay. Yeah, Unforeseen circumstances happen. You just go with the flow. Can you pull? Absolutely. Oh. Is your feet wet? Oh yeah, my feet are soaking wet for sure. There's a there's puddles and puddles and puddles in here, and my seat's falling out of my thing, out of the little holder. Okay, so Jacob is back in the boat, rope in hand, and we are gonna see what we can do as far as getting this thing out of the water. Well, chaos is about to happen. I think everybody needs a little chaos in their life, sir. Just saying. Can't hurt. Huh? Just embrace it. Embrace the chaos, right? Embrace the chaos. You really got to go with the, you know, go with the flow. It is what it is. I feel like a mule right now. We can't control the situation, just how we react to it. Is it moving? Yes, it is. So again, we do have the two 3,000 lift, 3,000 pound lift bags, the one 1,500 pound lift bag. Um, that Jacob just hooked up as the 1500 one. Okay. Looks like a flower pot over there, doesn't it? <laughs> over your head. Over your head. Woo! Uh, we are not. Uh, we are in a different part of Ohio now. Uh, we came here looking for um, Tom Long. He, we did not locate his vehicle today. Um, but in that process, we found a stolen 1992 Thunderbird that law enforcement did ask our assistance to help remove. So the vehicle is moving. Is it moving? It is moving. Do you? Do you know how heavy this car is? Heavy. Yeah. You feel like the Wild West? What? I said, do you feel like the Wild West? Like you're you're yeah. bringing in a herd of wild mustangs? Thunderbirds. A herd of thunderbirds. A herd of thunderbirds. <laughs> Who needs a tow truck when you got chaos, huh? <laughs> I might need a new motor after this, but. Okay, I'm proud of your little boat. Your, your little boat is just eating. Kind of fun. All right, there's the car. Chaos. Total chaos. I, I, I would tell you it's upside Sheer, down. That's the only way I can get. It. Unapologetic chaos. This is this is what it is. This is this is what we're doing. Do what? I gotta get these two out before the tow truck gets down in here. 
Oh yeah. Let's go, okay. guys. <laughs> uh, tow truck is coming down right now. Um, they are. Uh, what kind of truck did they bring? Do we know? I don't know if they have a rotator, but I'm going to tell you right now that he's going to hook it up. <laughs> so Jacob is refusing to do work at this point. Um, I just almost went in the water. Totally soaked. Hey, why are you wet? I almost went in with you. And again, I've been left on the boat alone, unattended. Um, so as of right now, I see 616 people in here. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, seriously. Um, all those cops up there. It's, it's crazy. Um, as soon as you walked up and I was doing a live stream earlier, I said, uh-oh, what did I do? <laughs> like, there was six or seven of them coming. I was like, uh-oh. So the tow company um, that is here today is Ron's Towing. Um, if I get a chance, I will um, post a, a link or something. Um, that ain't no rotator. Cynthia, fortunately for him, he, uh, he does have an assistant who somewhat pays attention and the hotel that has been booked does have a hot tub. So what? that is not. Does it really? Yeah. Cause somebody said you were going to be really sore in the morning. So I said, yeah. you have an assistant who somewhat pays attention and got you a hotel. If we ever get over there, it's four and a half hour drive. We got, I got you a hotel with a. We ain't going to be able to enjoy it. I can't sweet talk. A, hey, somebody sweet talk the uh, secretary at the, uh, where are we? Where are we I don't even know where we're staying. Desk clerk. I said secretary. Reservationist? That sounds, Reservationist. That sounds fancy. What do you want, Bob? You're going to hook her up? It's all you, buddy. Uh, he probably could, but, um... I don't have my fins on. Hold on. really is fins. more important. Don't you throw them. I've already lost... You want me to throw them? I lost one pair already this trip. I don't need to lose another pair. Oh, you didn't lose a pair. You, you didn't lose the pair. You just lost one. Yeah, and luckily I had another one. From Thanks losing it. Springs. From losing another one. I don't need to lose another one. It's $200 fins. Sure thing, Doug. You can come on down. Doug wants to know if they can crash our hotel hot tub party tonight. Oh, it's Doug on there. <laughs> What's up, Doug? I've had a, uh, I had an adventure just then. <laughs> it's upside down. It's like... It's... All right, so uh, we do have Jacob in the water. Uh, Eric is over here. He does have, uh, Eric has, has brought out the, the lines, uh, or the, excuse me, the chains and the hooks and everything. Oh, you got both lines? Um, hey, you got a BCD. He is bringing out the, the lines from the tow truck. Uh, the tow company is called Bronze. Uh, they, they have a contract, but they, they've also volunteered their time and their service. Um, and then, so they are hooking up, uh, thank you. I think somebody said something about my, my life vest. I bought my own. So that way it's sure. kind of cute. Um, so they are hooking the, the lines from the tow truck to the vehicle right now. Um, that's oh, you know what? actually go ahead and hook it up before it starts moving. Just so you can have a good hook line. Hook it around. Uh, Josh can too. You sure did. Go ahead and hook it around the tire. <laughs> Again, um, to everybody in here, old, new, everything. Thank you so very much. Uh, your continued support, um, subscribing, cool. liking, sharing. Um, thank you, Angela. Um, you literally just not even just not even just the monetary support, just just everything. I mean, you guys are fantastic. So, um, um, again, so uh, tow truck company is here. We have gotten the vehicle up to shore. We have two of the three thousand pound lift bags. Um, we do have, uh, this one right here is a 1500 pound lift bag vehicle is, uh, at shore really out. not that far here. Uh, yeah, Eric know. is, no. Eric is going down, uh, with the hooks okay, from the tow truck. Why can't you use the chain hook? Why can't you use the chain hook? I can't. Look it around. 
Oh, you sure did, Grace. You sure did. He and Eric both. <laughs> Um, so again, uh, tow truck is here. It's Ron's. Um, Just hooking around anything you can get a hold of and then wrap it around and then we'll hook it to this, okay? Um, Eric is going down right now to hook everything hook up. Uh, excuse me, not to hook everything up, uh, to hook up the, the, uh, the cables from the tow truck, uh, the chains and things like that. So, Isabella, thank you so much for becoming a member. It, it's it's amazing what um, what that does for the channel. Um, it goes towards vehicles, fuel, things like that. Um, Talk too much. Says the person who doesn't let anybody else speak. I gotta take I gotta take the chance when I can. I can just sit here and be very quiet. So as soon as he starts pulling, I'm gonna let all the air out. I don't want to. I didn't want to re release the air before he got. Uh, cultural so if you guys design. haven't checked oh. out Adventures with Purpose on his bags, check him out. He's got some great bags, but I do have a hole in my... I think I did that on the, uh, <laughs> yesterday on the car. <clears throat> when they try to pull on the side of the, uh, hill. Oh, yeah. Uh, cultural divide. People contact, um, us, like, families, law enforcement, friends, um, all different kinds of people, um, contact us. Uh, Miss Lamo, this is... Eric's third or fourth car pull, actually. Hey, let me see my mask. I'm gonna go down there with him. Oh, see goodness. it anywhere? Yep. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go scare him. Oh, Giselle, I'm so sorry to hear that. That stinks. So Jacob is going down to go scare Eric. He's coming up. Oh, and Eric will be coming up in a moment. I thought he was coming up. Hopefully he doesn't come up under the boat. Eh. Knock me over. Mm. Be all right. No, it's not gonna be alright. I don't wanna get cold and wet. Don't try to even flip this thing over right now. This is gonna come up on Come on. Ooh, you know what I could do? Hmm. I may be able to manipulate it. Ooh, my BCD. I may be able to manipulate it and flip it up at the same time with these bags. All right, guys, give me just a moment here. Let's toss it in there. Uh, yes, yes, they sure did. Thanks, Jana. Uh, I definitely, definitely have my moments. <laughs> uh, Kelly, not yet. I'm gonna ask him when he when he comes up um, if he is if he can give it to me so that way I can put it in here. Oh, there he is. Thanks, Carson. Uh, I'm super excited to see you guys again um, to get to spend some more time with with hey, with you guys. Carson. So. Uh, Josh is in here too. Josh is gonna come crash the party too. Hi, Josh. Hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm super excited to meet up with you guys again. I I can't wait. Because what I think I can do is I think I can actually flip them over with the bags. What? Uh, Lillian, they are working on that right now, figuring out what they're gonna do. You are connected to it. Yeah. Okay. I'll I got it. this right here. I'm just gonna wrap. What is that? It's the other end. I couldn't find anything. Hi, Dirty Mad Yackers. How are you? Tell me you're not doing it. Yep, you're doing it. Oh, hello ah. again, Curtis. No, it wasn't a turtle. <laughs> that was a chain. Oh, and an Eric. Good night. <laughs> So again, we came here um, to Ohio on the search for Tom Long. Tom Long right. missing a little over 50 years ago in his 1967 or 68. All right, I'm almost brand new Pontiac Catalina. Out of the way, but we got a problem. I gotta go get the uh, gotta get the rope off. 
Um, that you're attached to. You want to go with a tow truck? I mean, not really. I mean... Do they have snacks? Oh, then no, I don't want to go with them. Uh, again, so we are here. Uh, we came here to Ohio to help with... Um, um, to, to search for Tom Long. Um, so, uh, up close and personal with the bags. Boop, boop. Um, we unfortunately did not find Tom's vehicle. Uh, Eric is right over there. Um, if, uh, we, we did not, we did not find Tom's vehicle, um, in the strip pit that he has been rumored, uh, to have been in. Um, that's something that the kids had always, has always heard. Um, we did find another vehicle. Eric and Jacob both dove on it. They were able to pull uh, plates from it. Turns out it's a 1992 white Firebird that was stolen in about 2002, 2003. So we are almost 20-ish years going into how long this car's uh, been missing. The detective actually was able to uh, contact the original owner via Facebook. So like crazy, crazy thing. Um, so Jacob is under there, I don't remember well, y'all probably do remember. So when Jacob thought he was going to pull the boat in with that massive rope. Woo! Hey! Hey! Hey, sir! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the vibration in the water. That's Jacob beating the bottom of the boat that I have been left in alone. Did that scare you? Yes! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm ready for him. Hi, guys. Go ahead, guys. Start tightening it up and pull it in. Do you want these lines on here, Jacob? I'm going to tell you right now, it's upside down, and I can't get it flipped back over. Do you want these? All right, bro. Line. Do you want the air hoses up here? Or do you want the air hoses in the water? No, I want them off. I didn't even think about that. Uh, let, let them tighten it up. They'll, yeah, okay. throw them in the water. They'll be fine. In the water. Okay, go ahead and throw um, them. I did. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you get to see this. I do apologize. I thought it'd be a 30-minute uh, in and out. Oh, did I say it was a different car? How Another. long have you been on? If I knew how to work a YouTube... Oh, 97 minutes. Oh, jeez. That's so slow. They waited on me. I kept them entertained. The tow truck waited on me. That is horrible. Why are we them, on this so long? I kept them entertained. Okay, so... You guys want to see it. You guys are invested. We are. You guys are invested in this, so you're going to see it. We are connected. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. From the shore, line is on. We're going to do this. Uh, 1992 White Thunderbird. It was stolen back in 2002, 2003. Uh, the detective wasn't able to find the original owner. She had actually forgot about it. She was like, oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Uh, so it was really cool, so. Hey, Eric. You did a good job, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Sorry about what? Oh, no, you're fine. I just got a <laughs> blister on my, off, underneath my fingernail. That's why I screamed. I was like, All right, no. so a tow truck is why starting is to <laughs> tighten their lines. Um, the car is flipped over. Um, they might be just sliding. Just happy to get this, this dang car out of the water. Um, it's been here for a long time. So, um, it is full of silt. Are you sure you Thank you, Jane. That's, that's super awesome. Yeah. Um, everything you guys do, subscribing, sharing, liking, becoming a member, shopping in the store, uh, donations, anything like that, it helps out tremendously. Um, it helps Jacob continue to do what it is that he does that he does it helps um it helps me to continue to you know go out on the road with him and support him in what he's doing um, you guys you guys are amazing um super super awesome like i i can't yeah, say thank you enough in this. Might as well watch it. oh it's it's like me oh okay um it, like you guys seriously it could be the worst day ever and do you guys make comments and, and heart things and share things and support him and it's one bag down. Um, it's super heartwarming to see how much you guys support him. Don't mess up my 
my bags. Let me see if I have it. All right, guys. So they are. I'm not sure if you guys can see. You probably can see if my daggone finger was over the thing. So there it is. Here we go. It is upside down. Or excuse me, it's on its is on its side. Okay, so it is looks like it's on its side. The tow truck company said that they would be able to get it flipped over. Off before it falls on top of it. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Uh, definitely going to do that, Doug. Uh, we actually think that Eric. one may have accidentally got, um, got a hole in it yesterday. Um, sorry if I missed anything. Um, so they are slowly, I mean, the car was white, not sure if you can tell. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of ick on it. Okay. I am posting the link right now for Dirty Mag Yuckers. So, just did that. Um, again, uh, we do have Ron's Towing Service out here today. They are the ones assisting with the tow. Uh, and, and pulling the vehicle. We started way down there when this when this adventure started today. Um, we are um, currently at the shore finally um, in the best locality uh, locality to remove the vehicle. Um, it's not big here, but there are some does he meet uh, but it, there are. Um, some steeper, um, some steeper kind of like entrances coming in. This is probably the best one. Um, so we are working on bags. Jacob is, I believe, down um, making sure that the chains were situated properly to uh, have the vehicle roll over. Um, onto its wheels. Uh, thank you so very much for that donation. That's really awesome of you. Um, so he's just adjusting that, making sure that that is, um, that those are good to go. And then um, he is, uh, was going to disconnect the bags and things like that. So that way they don't get hurt or ripped or cut or punctured or anything so thanks dirty mag yackers um all right guys so sorry but i got to switch and turn around oh goodness Thank you, flash in your pan. I try. They they make it easy. I mean, I don't tell them that, but uh, he's a 
He's pretty great to work for. <laughs> Are you going to that? So. They are, oh, Jacob is going up. He's going to take some of the bags up, um, kind of get everything out of the way. Again, the vehicle, it started out on its top. Uh, it is now on its side. The tow truck is, drivers are able to, uh, to get everything flipped over, so. They are just removing bags, situating um, the J-hooks, the clevises, things like that to make sure that when the vehicle does come out of the water, it is, uh, it is upright. So again, we do have Ron's towing here. Uh, they are the ones that are assisting. Um, again, this was a white firebird. You just can't tell because of all the gunk. <laughs> Thanks. Over there, get my knife. Oh, never mind, I got it. Again, thank you all so much for, for sticking with us. Um, thank you to all of the new members. Thank you so much. You guys are, are truly amazing. Like, you seriously rock so much. Oops, sorry about that. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. You got a big CD, I don't... Uh, no, Lori, I'm actually not right now. I'm just holding the phone. Uh, the gimbal is actually on my camera. Uh, that is on shore somewhere. Ugh. Okay, sorry. I had to kind of resituate. So when uh, the detective contacted the owner, she was actually super shocked. She was like, oh my gosh, I had forgotten all about that because it was, like I said, almost 20 years ago. So she was, she was kind of, you know, excited um, just to see that it was actually found. It was her daughter's car from what I understand, uh, but she was just pretty impressed that it was, that it was even located. So again, it was about 20 years ago that it went in the water. We do have Ron's towing. Thanks, FK. Um, all the boys actually uh, get a little mad because I can outshoot them, whether it's, you know, shooting handguns and rifles and shotguns in the backyard or, or shooting our bow or, or whatever. So um, the boys get a little angry. <laughs> um, so this is, again, you can see them removing the bags, everything like that, getting everything of ours out of the way. Um, just so that way, when we pull this vehicle, everything's good to go. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Terry, Terry's seen it, so. Exactly, Curtis. It's crazy. Yeah, they said that, like, everything was already done and taken care of from it. And um, so, again, we do have Ron's towing when here. The comes up and you see it open, move the camera. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Lord, give me a second. Um, he's trying to get all this stuff done right now. Um, definitely don't want to interrupt him when they're working. So, again, uh, they are they have removed all of our stuff i think we may still have our original like buoy and magnet on there uh from when uh we actually marked the vehicle um 
Berg team, it may be where I'm sitting. I'm, I'm in a strip pit in the middle of the woods, kind of fish. Uh, so Jacob is getting the magnet and the buoy off. Uh, Grace, I am not connected to anything. I am still just floating. Um, but yeah, all of our stuff is now removed. Uh, tow truck is all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have them, uh, go ahead and pull it out. This was definitely a little more than we had anticipated, um, you know, with the, with the bags, but you know, it is what it is and it all worked out and we're going to get this vehicle the heck out of here. Jacob, you might want to put your face under the water. He's got a little bit of ick mud on his face, but I don't want to tell him that because he'll be angry. <laughs> okay, so the vehicle is going to be coming out here in just a moment. Uh, Nicholas, so this vehicle's been in here for about 20 years. Uh, the, the original vehicle that we were here looking for uh, was here um, or has been missing for about 50 years. So. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so they are uh, pulling the vehicle right now. Again, we do have Ron's towing here. It, it was a white car. Uh, Ron's towing the right up there. Um, until the vehicle is pulled out and cleared, we are going to um, avoid having the camera point at it just to verify, check everything. Yes, a huge thank you to Ron Stowing. They, they've been incredible, so. So again, once the vehicle is out and has been cleared, I will do my best to show you. I can tell you that right now it is full of silt, full of silt. Um, it is white. Um, I can show you, here's the back end. You can see how much ick is on it. Um, as soon as we get a chance, I will get you guys over there, um, get you into Jacob's hands and have him take it from there. Uh, Terry, I didn't get to go out. I was actually uh, ended up being on the road with Jacob. Um, <clears throat> but Eric did go out. He did not, uh, he did not see anything. So again, until the vehicle has been cleared because that was something we were unable to do while we were in the water. Uh, there were only about eight inches of the wheel showing as the vehicle was upside down. So um, until that vehicle is cleared, they are not going to, um, not going to, to, to show the vehicle necessarily. Um, I can show you the back end of it. Again, you can see that it was white um, at one point in time. Uh, it is no longer white now. It is covered in silt. Um, it's, it's crazy. Again, 1992 Thunderbird, I mean, this thing held up pretty good. The car is not going to be on camera um, just until we are able to clear it. Um, again, I can show you the back end of it, but until I can say that um, the car is clear and we are good to go, I I cannot show it to you. Um, I be totally, totally inappropriate. <laughs> I can show you the back of the vehicle um, the back of the vehicle, it is full of silt, like full of silt. Um, I would, um, I would totally not be okay, um, you know, finding out, um, something like this via a live stream or something, something like this. So, um, they are pulling the car over. Again, I can kind of show you the back end. The silt is all coming out. Um, so, 
so the car is flipped over. Um, our guys are walking up to it now, going to work on clearing it. The Give me just a moment and I will get the okay from Jacob. I know. Okay. The vehicle has been cleared. There it is. So the reason that uh, that felt like the seatbelt was latched is because on those older cars, um, it had that automatic seatbelt that went up and down along the side of the, the sideway. So. Give me my fins, are they up there? Oh no, I threw them over there, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the water is absolutely disgusting. Full of grease, uh, that won't be. fluids. Um, but you can see all of the, the stuff. That, I mean, it just bleep right out of it. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think about that, huh? It took me a little, look at all these little sticky things. Ooh! Uh, Jacob finally did pull me to shore just now. This what man. are those? Those like are little, little sticky burrs? things off the burrs. I don't know, hmm. I guess they're only in Ohio because they're itty bitty tiny little burries. But So the vehicle has been cleared. Uh, again, it was stolen, 1992 Thunderbird stolen. Grab a hold of it, step outside. Uh, in 2002, 2003. Okay, give me one moment. I have to get out of the boat, y'all. So you don't spill it. Oh, oh, I already dropped my phone in the water. What? Oh, in the water over there? Yeah, my phone floated back there. Oh, is that mud or Yeah, grease? I see. <laughs> that, is, that is not grease. Sorry, guys. Hey, guys, what's going on? So this was uh, definitely, here, use my arm. Step up over in there. And get you some sticker stuff on you too. Yeah, here, let me let me knock them down. Hold on. Oh, so me... stickers, those are prickers. Prickers? The heck? Pricker here, go. Look at that. Out, those are stickers. It's go! A, it, I can't, it's in my it's in my butt cheek, Jacob! Go! Jacob the pricker is in my butt cheek! <laughs> what are you doing? Hold on! Hold on, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Here, here, hold on. Here, hold that. There's a pricker in my butt cheek and in my hair. Okay, go. Go. You have Eric get that out. Here, here, take the phone. Jeez, Eric. Sorry. Grab the windshield. All right, guys. what it looks like it's actually a nice car <laughs> I did my part guys <laughs> guys check out Ron's towing if you're ever in the Wellston area and need it so they're a great great group of people I didn't know what the heck was going on with her. I just got in. Look at all that, guys. Yes, sir. We're going to check the trunk. We will check the trunk. I'll get it open. I was trying to be nice. And get Lindsay out of the prick, pricker bushes, and she got it in her hair. And well, you know. Now come on, now I pulled this by hand. You guys can pull this. Come on, what's going on with that? Uh oh, so.
something's gonna give. Hey, thank you, TK. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for the donations. I just now noticed that. Thank you. Is there a key in the ignition? Not sure. I, I'm not getting close to that. That is tighter than I don't even know what. I hope that don't uh, bust me in the face. Um, there we go. There we go. That was definitely a chore to get that out. There we go. You should move. I can't move now. I'm, I am in it to win it right now. So if it breaks, well, it breaks. I'm, I'm okay. I'm in a safe place. No, the trunk hasn't been cleared. I'm getting ready to clear it here when we get it onto the... Uh, deal here Whew. yeah I mean the car actually looks in pretty good decent shape for a 90 1992 Thunderbird we're gonna check the uh, we're gonna check the trunk after it gets after I can get out I'm in the pricker bushes right now, as, as Lindsay called it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, it'll start right up. Guarantee it. Oh, I'm good. I, I'm completely away from the strap now. Or the Jacob new car, right? Oh, guys, this was kind of a this was kind of a pain in the butt to get out today. Should have hooked up three bags on it, but I figured two bags, and as deep as it was, duct tape pull the prickers off. Okay. <laughs> dump some rice over it. it'll dry out right so did you guys like <coughs> did you guys like um literally paying the butt yes did y'all like commentary from Lindsay? this is definitely something that ow that is a mean pricker all right good awesome thank you guys All right, she talks too much crap about you. <laughs> you know what? Our our friendship, we are we are a bunch of goofballs. So what she is, uh, what she's doing, she's just just comedy. You know, she's just we're really good friends. So she's a great assistant. She helps me out a lot. So just buff it out, right? Hey, Eric. You did a good job. Hey, Lindsay, they all told, they all told me that you didn't do a good job. <laughs> you, yeah, I can't leave you unattended. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, let me uh, let me check the truck out. I got some uh, pry bars. We got that pry bar still? Or do you want to hook it up to a... Uh... Yeah, here. Oh, sorry. See, I agree with all of them. Lindsay, Lindsay does rock, as long as she's in a bubble. I don't think scratching it's going to matter at this point, but I think it's just scrap metal. I 
I'm sorry, Abnormal the Clown, she didn't read any. And now I read one, so at least one's been read. I did read some of these. I'm sorry. I, I think I did good. A spit shine? It might run. I don't know. A spit shine might work. Yes, he is excited. all the silt and mud and muck and everything else that we drug up. See the oil sheen. Uh, we used both down under Dan. Today we used the, the parachute bag, two of the parachute bags and one pillow bag. A little bit of mother's wax. No, we don't. That would not be a bad idea, or at least a boom to to collect it all for the oil. I mean, I will. They're clearing something. I don't want to show anything inappropriately. Clear. Diving guys, it's not worth it. Stop, love right, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, the fire department, they fill their tanks, they're going to fill them again, and they also said to the fire department. They also said to come to the training academy, and they will take care of rinsing you guys off and your suit. I love them guys. Yeah. Who is it? Wellston uh, Fire Department. Uh, Jackson Fire Department. No, 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 Jackson. No. <laughs> The Wellston Fire Department. Thank you, Wellston Fire Department. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Ron's so, Jackson. Do what? Ron's from Jackson. Oh, Ron, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Keep diving. It's not worth it to stop. And then, all right. You guys need to check out. You guys got a Facebook channel? Thank you, guys. Embrace the chaos. Wellston Fire Department. Have a good night. Facebook. You guys will go to Wellston Facebook page, Wellston Fire Department, and, uh, Check them out, tell them thank you for us. I appreciate it. And same for what Ron's, Ron's towing from uh, Jackson. So thank you guys. Keep diving, it's not where to stop, and Embrace the chaos, guys. Whoa. Just say bye. <laughs> I'll see you guys, thank you.